What's up everybody, you know who it is. Tonight, today, finally, some fresh pods coming in. Um, so I got this. Um, I ordered some uh, orange and purple cayennes. Um, and I got shipped Thai chilies um, and one orange scotch bonnet. Guy I ordered from said, man, I had that written down wrong. I messed up. I said, no problem. So he's sending me out the cayennes. Uh, coming soon, so I really wanted to review those um, But he threw in a uh, Orange scotch bonnet, so I'm excited about that. So let's try it out mm. Getting a little lukewarm It's fucking finally finally in the 80s out here. You know what I mean finally getting some some nice weather Oh, that's what I wanted to do. I'm gonna cut it open I'll look at the inside real quick but before we do that, <sighs> mm -hmm. I'm just gonna cut her. Ooh, stabbing myself. Come on now. All right, there she be. Little fucking pumpkins, dude. So it looks like a little pumpkin. Good amount of placenta in there, though. It's. Ooh. Doesn't smell real spicy, though. It smells kind of like, um. It smells like a bell pepper. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um. Hmm. And I've had plenty of Scotch bonnet peppers, and they usually got a pretty good little sting to them. Um. But. That's what she looked like. <laughs> oh, I love fucking... I love fresh peppers, man. Fresh pepper season, dude. Cheers. The boy's not a stem eater, dude. So don't even try me. Beautiful color on this pepper, too. The orange, I love it. It's a little burn. Mm hmm. Good. It's getting warmer. For sure. The eyes are going to start watering, maybe. <clears throat> I don't know. So I've had hotter Scotch bonnet peppers. Um, but this shit's building. <clears throat> it's building on me now. And it's building quick and fast and hard. Um, yeah. <clears throat> it's not burning like a super hot, but... You know, I can feel it in my gums. Mm-hmm. My teeth can feel it. So I know it's warm. <clears throat> the eyes are starting to want to want to water, but I don't think they're going to get there. <clears throat> Pretty tasty. Um, had some earthy notes. It did taste a lot like a bell pepper, though. And it was a pretty thick walled pepper. Had a good crunch to it. 
And like I said, good coloration. Um, I look for that a lot. Um, especially if you're using the peppers, um, you know, while you're cooking. Um, I love orange bell peppers, habaneros, just because the color pops so much. <clears throat> so it's done building now. It's kind of tapering down. Really good little pepper. Had a little bit of sweetness to it, but not like a bell pepper sweetness. You know what I mean? Not sweet, sweet, but. So that's it. We're just going to let this fucking ride this burnout <clears throat> almost all my pepper videos um challenge videos of course uh whatever you know we got to give it a five minute afterburn just to see how well it does and like always i fucking forgot where the video was at Dummy. So, uh, Scotch bonnets, also known as, I think, Bishop Crowns, um, uh, Crowns Hat, um, a couple other names, um, based on the shape and how they look. Um, <clears throat> I've reviewed a handful of Scotch bonnet peppers, um, usually different colors, of course. This is the first time with an orange one, so. I mean, I still got a tingle on the lips. You can still feel it. You know, that pepper, that's hotter than a jalapeno. It's hotter than a serrano. Um, it's in the ballpark of a habanero. Um, yeah. Sometimes habs just hit different, you know, they really do. I'm thinking about it. I'm just pausing. I'm trying to think. Um, it's right there. It's, it's, it's habanero-ish heat level, I would say. Um, completely different pepper, though. Completely different taste. Um, but heat profile really about there but the weird thing about this pepper I just did the orange scotch is when I when I smelled it even before I cut it and after I cut it little spider next to me uh, absolutely no no heat profile coming off of it and so I was kind of thinking it wasn't going to be warm but it's got a little warmth there we go so do we get a nose trickle? Sorry guys, I know it's gross. It's getting ready to want to start to trickle a little bit. I don't know if it fully will. Um, eyes are done. They're a little glossy, but... I don't know. I'm not sweating. It just looks good. It just looks shiny. You know what I mean? <laughs> Oh, I'm ready for a taste of a beer, though, but I don't know where we're at with this five-minute burn. I don't know. I have to go back and look at the video, and when I stopped eating it, I just look at my timer up there, you know? Now I'm looking at you guys. Now I'm looking at my timer. Now I'm looking at myself. That's where the eyes go. I want to say, though, it was like at three minutes, and we're at nine now, so. So we're capped on that. Oh, yeah, burn's pretty much all gone, so, to the mind haze we go. From one, uh, from one high to another, you know, the endorphins and, and the capsaicin and peppers and hot foods and, and, and all that is one of the biggest draws why people like me and, and a lot of other people 
really enjoy spicy food. There's a lot of people, millions of people love spicy foods. Um, and it has a lot to do for me um, too with some of the endorphins, um, the kind of the kind of cow pie you get off of it. You know, I'm not getting much there now, but but eating fresh peppers like that, it gets my body, it gets me moving. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel great. I feel fucking fantastic now. This is the best I felt all day, and I worked a seven little seven eight hour day today. You know on my normal day off so and this is the best I felt all day mm. so cheers to this pepper that's about it I can't wait for so I got some cayennes coming the purple and the orange I told you again thank you appreciate it um, I might try one of the guy the new guys ties but anyways thanks for watching